Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Emilio and today I'm going to show you how you can render your animation with Krita. So we have this animation. It's a bouncing ball. It's a bit heavy because the file is pretty big. I don't know why it did so big, but don't worry. I'm going to show you the animation at the end. And the first thing we have to do once we are done with our animation, we are going to go to file and here we get this option, render animation. So we're going to click over there and we are going to get a window. So this is the window we get and we have these three options. So we have image sequence, video and both. Both we usually don't use this because we either need the video or the image sequence. We never need both. In some cases we do, but most most of the time we either we either need image sequence or video. So in this case, I'm going to show you both things. And first I'm going to show you image sequence. So for this one, you just choose your first frame. In this case, my first frame is zero and my last frame is 10. So that's pretty simple, right? So you just choose your first frame and your last frame you want to render. Then we're going to choose the file format. In this case, you can choose all these formats. You can choose PNG. If you have transparency, I recommend you to use PNG or uh, TGA is also a really good format. But in this case, I'm just going to go for JPEG. And then here we have the image location where we want our images to be. So we are going to select here and we are going to select our folder where we want uh, our animation to render. We select the folder and then we need to name our file. In this case, I'm going to put bouncing ball. Also, we get this option of start numbering at, and this means that you're going to get uh, the naming on your image sequence is going to start on zero, one, two, three, or whatever you want to put it. Sometimes it's better to put on one, but you can choose uh, whatever you want. And then once we're ready, going to put OK. Once our animation is done, uh, we are going to get all these images because we are getting an image sequence. So we are not getting a video. We can't play this video on, uh, on a QuickTime or anything. We have to put this together in a video. So in this case, I'm just going to use an editing software. In this case, I'm going to use Premiere and I'm going to import the images. Okay. So I'm going to go file import and I'm going to go to the folder where I have my bouncing ball. I'm going to select my image. And if you see over here, you get image sequence. So you click over there and then you put open. So now we have our image sequence together. I'm just going to duplicate so you can see the animation and uh, look at this. Now we have the ball and I mean, it's pretty fast, but we have the video that we need. Once we have this, we can export the video in Premiere and then we will get a video. We, we will get our animation. So that's one way of doing it. It's pretty straightforward. You just need an editing software or somewhere or a program that you can put your images together and make an animation. And that way you can get your, uh, your images without having to install FFMPEG. So in this case, now I'm going to show you how you can render a video. So we go to the file and then we go to render animation. Once we have that, we are going to get our window. And in this case, I'm just going to put video. So video is uh, different. We get different settings. So we, we need to choose the frames per second that we want. In this case, I'm going to choose 12 because my animation was too fast. If you see in the premiere, it was too fast. It's because I don't have any spaces here. So I'm just going to put 12. Okay. And then my first frame zero, my last frame is going to be 10, uh, same as, uh, as an image sequence. And then we are going to choose the size of the video. This is actually a pretty big video. So I recommend you to go smaller on your uh, size. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then we need FFMPEG. This is super important. If we don't have this, we can't render a video. So for to get that, you need to go to ffmpeg.org and here you can download uh, this plugin or this program that you need. Once you have downloaded ffmpeg, put it in a folder that you know, so you can point Krita to the folder and select ffmpeg. You 
need this this for sure you need this so you can render the video and you don't have to do everything like going to premiere and putting your images together so this is another way to do it and this way you can create a gif you can create a video and you can create like all kind of videos so this is easier to just make the videos and the animation so just get this plugin i'm gonna leave the link uh down below in the description so check it out and download it so once you have this installed you just put mpg4 video or you can do a, a gif if you want but in this case i'm just gonna put mpeg4 okay and here we're gonna put the video location i'm gonna select the same location as the image sequence so i'm just gonna put save and now we can export okay also if you have audio you can also put a click here and include the audio so if you have audio just do that and you will have your animation with audio and once you are ready you are going to put ok so once we finish our render we are going to get this video and this is gonna be our final animation and we don't have to go to premiere or anything to uh, see the animation I'm just gonna show you the animation how it looks I put it together and this is how our animation looks so it's pretty cool Krita is a really good software and you can get uh, some good animations and some uh, nice nice animations if you just put the time so i hope this uh, video helped and i hope that now you know how to render animation in krita and i'll see you in the next video bye bye